Kayla Snyder sent me an image and she asked this. I cannot extend my background over the black. So let's go ahead and solve this today. Hi there, this is Animation. Welcome to another episode of Ask Pix. It's been a long time, I know. And by the way, thank you so much, Kayla, for the question. And you can follow Kayla right here. Check the links. I'll post it up somewhere in the screen. Okay, so she sent me this image and I found this really interesting. Have a look. There's a black thing on the right hand side and we need to remove it. But there's a problem. If there was no hand there, we could have easily extended using the clone stamp tool or the content aware fill. But there's a hand there. So how do we do that? The only way we can approach this is by separating the hand from the image. So let's go ahead and make a copy of the background layer, press Ctrl Command J and then we need to make a selection of the hand. Now you can do this using the quick selection tool but I'm going to use the select and mask. So if you're using an older version of Photoshop you might not have select and mask but if you have an older version use the quick selection tool but if you're in the new version select and mask is always going to be the best one. So choose any selection tool and click on select and mask with the copy layer selected. Now since the background is a little bit brighter let's go ahead and choose the view on white. Now if the opacity is 100, only the areas which are selected will show up. If the opacity is 0, the areas, everything will, everything will show up irrespective of what you have selected. So let's keep the opacity somewhere around there and using the quick selection tool here inside the select and mask dialog box, let's make it a little bigger. There we go, just like that. And maybe my caps lock is held. Okay, so when the caps lock is held, the cursor kind of changes to a plus icon and if that happens, that means your caps lock is on. Press that again to get it back and there we go. Let's go ahead and select the hand. Just the hand, doesn't matter. Oh, the other areas. So let's refine the selection. We didn't want this area, press no hold alter option and just subtract this area just like that. Simple. And that's a pretty good selection, I guess. This is an extra area which is selected. There we go. We can always refine this later. So if you're satisfied, click OK. But before you do, make sure layer mask is selected. Click OK. Now, as you can see, we have just the hand on a separate layer. Okay, so if we just keep this layer solo, press and hold alter option and click it once to see what we have here. We just have the hand. Now you can refine the selection as much as you want. Maybe let's do that. It's, it's not a pretty good selection, so we can take the brush, okay, and keep it on, keep this layer on and decrease the opacity of this and uh, just unlock the background, like click on this lock and just decrease the opacity to see which areas are left out and then select the mask, take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white and then paint in the areas which we have missed. Flow is at 33, it's a little flow, which is a good thing. And you can work on it. Take your time and you can work on the selection. Have a look if we just turn it off. It's a good selection, but depends upon how much time you give here. Select the mask and then do that. Okay, if it's an extra, you can erase it by toggling the colors. Press X to toggle the foreground and the background color. And there we go. And you get the idea. We can refine this later. And that's the best part about using masks. Okay, let's turn this on and now increase the opacity of this one to 100 and all we have to do, we have to fill up these areas one by one. So let's fill up the first area at the top. So let's try, let's make a copy of this layer too. Okay, just to be on the safer side. Then with the polygonal lasso tool or any other selection tool, just select this area. Select a little more, press the shift key and select a little more of this area. There we go, just like that. And let's try the content aware fill. So go to edit, fill, and then content aware fill. Make sure this is selected. Color adaptation checked, normal 100. Click OK. And let's see how this does the job. So it, it's done a pretty amazing job. Have a look, before, after. Now this has filled this area. Now it's time for us to fill the other areas. Just like that. And you can use the clone stamp tool or some other tools, maybe the patch tool, but this time we're going to use the clone stamp tool. So maybe just like this and does pretty good job. And we need to fill something here, right? So what to fill it with? Just line it up. When you're using the clone stamp tool, make sure you line that up. 
that's pretty good. Now this area, what to do about this? Let's just turn the hand off for a second. Just line it up pretty properly and go a little extra. Anyway, we have the hand on a separate layer, doesn't really matter. Okay. This area needs to fill. So we need to find a similar area. Maybe we can pick it up from this area, right? So select the rectangular marquee tool and make a selection right here and press controller command J. Now with the move tool, move it up right there and make sure this matches up pretty well. Now you can use the warp tool, press controller command T, make it a little, decrease the opacity a little bit to see where it's matching. Press controller command T and right click and choose warp. Now you can match it up just like that. Maybe you want to It was a little bent. Have a look. This is at an angle. Now you can work the angles, take your time, but make sure you match it up pretty well. Okay. And that's pretty much okay. Looks good to me. Hit enter. There we go. Increase the opacity. Now all you have to do is to create a mask and take the color, take the brush, make sure the foreground color is black and with a soft brush and maybe a little low opacity, let's choose somewhere around 29, 30-ish and let's just erase the edges. Just like that. And we filled the area. Now we might want to move this a little up to fill up this. Maybe line this up a little bit, just like that. Controller command T, right click and warp again, line this up. You might have to do it a couple of times. And since we used masks, we can go back to the mask and paint back in the areas with white, these extra areas. And take the brush, toggle between black and white and just simply keep painting. Now this looks right. This looks pretty right to me. We need to adjust the color here. So how to adjust the color? Create a curves adjustment layer by clicking on the gray white icon and choose curves. First, take care of the brightness. Okay. So if it's bright, too bright, let's make it a little darker. But this is affecting the whole image. We want this to just affect this one. So click on this button to create a clipping mask and then it just affects this area. Now this brightness level is quite matching, but the color is not matching. So maybe go to the red channel, increase the red just a little bit and it's matching. Maybe try the blues, try decreasing the blues or increasing the blues. Yeah, just a little bit. And there we go. It's pretty much matching. Now let's go ahead and turn on the hand and there you have it. Now you need to take your time. And by the way, you can erase it a little more selection here. Select the mask and erase it from here a little bit and select the mask of the hand and you can perfect the mask of the hand. Take as much time as you want with the brush and the white color there. You can erase these areas. And make it a little more better. Just like this. Okay. I hope that answers your question, Kayla. Thank you so much. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after. We covered it right. So that's all for this video. I hope this video helped you and I hope this does justice to Ensley. She's really adorable. I'll see you guys in my next one. And also, don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks and tutorials. Stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating and also keep asking.